Welcome, friends. Welcome back to the kitchen. I'm joined again by Jamie, who is a butcher, author, educator, um, and he's been helping me break down a pig. Today we've got the hind leg, and we're not going to do too much to it because I'm going to try to turn this into prosciutto, which I understand is a lot easier than I think it is. Yeah, I think that people overthink it. And I've been overthinking it, so we're going to give it a try. Okay. So what do we need to do to prep this um, in order to make prosciutto? Two things. Okay. Okay. So if, it, if, if the hog comes in with a tail, which we have remnants of one here, okay. that should be removed. Okay. Okay. And then we've got our H bone, which is the bone that we use as our marker when we separated it from the loin in the belly. Okay. Okay. So honestly, these two things. So if you've never done this before, the cuts can seem a little bit tricky, but the tail, there's not much to it. You just really need to kind of round it out like so. Okay. Okay. So that's what was left of the tail, but I just wanted to make sure that was gone. Excellent. Okay. The next one is the H bone. So there's a bit of a piece of meat on top of it here. So I'd like to take that off. It just kind of cradled in there. So I'll remove that. A little oyster. A little oyster. That is. That would, if we were talking about beef, that would be the oyster steak or the spider steak. Oh, I just made that up. <laughs> <laughs> Happy accident. Happy accident. Okay. So then we've got our H bone here. Um, and I'll just demonstrate how to take that out. Because again, if you've never done it before, it can be a little bit tricky. It's a bit of an odd shape to it. So it cradles right on top of the head of the femur bone. Okay. Okay. So there's a tendon that atta attaches the two. So we cut that tendon away. That's just going to allow us to get under that bone and cut around it. So what I'm really trying to be conscious of when I'm doing this, because knowing that you want to make this into prosciutto, I want to make as little cuts as possible, as few cuts as possible. Because every time you make a cut, that's something that salt needs to find its way into. Press the salt in if there's, exactly. a, if there's a cut. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, there may be a little bit in here that we'll have to kind of concentrate on. But for the most part, we did a good job of pulling out a clean bone. Um, now we just have to focus on getting the salt into all of the exposed and all of the skin as well, too. Because we can't just cure a portion of it and leave the rest leave of it, it because the rest of it would be subject to rancidity. So we don't want that. And we're going we're gonna to leave the foot on, mm -hmm. the trotter on, so that we've got somewhere to... That's right. That's the Achilles tendon, and that will support the weight, uh, and that allows it to hang. So hang later. this okay. will look a little bit more familiar to anybody who's been to Spain, uh, where they are curing the hams in the bars and restaurants, because they do leave the trotter on. And the other telltale thing is that we have exposed that femur bone, so that's another kind of like recognizable feature to prosciutto as well, too. So, Well, thank you very much. I'm going to uh, go out and get some salt, reset the kitchen, and start on the next step of, uh, of making this. Thank, Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Thank you.